Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. They're prepping the boat and getting ready to tie it down for the evening. Hank! I missed it. Do you have any explanation? What are you doing? Get out of here! We thought she was going to die. Well, I'm Joey Greco, and thank you for watching this emotional episode of Cheaters. Timothy Gordon is a man concerned with his wife's recent love of the nightlife. Needing to address the matter, Timothy seeks assistance from Cheaters, seasoned professionals. Timothy Gordon, age 42. A real estate agent concerned that his wife is hanging a for sale sign on her marriage. Been married to for seven years this past March. Um, we've always had a really good relationship until, I don't know, around December it started getting really, I don't know, distant. The changes started, you know, almost immediately, you know, in, in December when she started working. You know, um, I don't know, two weeks in, she's just telling me that she's going to be late because she's going to go out with the, have a couple of drinks after work. Found a flyer from a, a band from this coworker that she works with uh, in her bag. And, I, you know, I, she had said she was going out with friends, girlfriends that night. But I come to find out that it wasn't that, you know. Uh, she actually went to the show, you know. Um, the only reason I know that is because I overheard her while she was in the bathroom, uh, you know, talking on the phone, saying how much she had a good time at that show and all this kind of stuff. You know, the other night, she came in at 4 in the morning. She was reeking of alcohol. She came in, and when she got undressed, you know, I was looking at her in her closet because she barely gets undressed in front of me anymore, and, you know, she's missing her panties. If she's cheating on me, I want her to tell me the truth. You know, stand up and say, hey, you know, I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. I want to move on. You know, why waste my time? You know, because I'm not going to be sitting here being a doormat anymore. Suspect's identity withheld. Age 39. A woman accused of placing ads to seek out a new man in her life. Investigation day four. After getting word from headquarters, Cheater's agents set up a perimeter around the suspect's workplace. Several hours into their shift, detectives spot the suspect as she exits her place of business with what appears to be a co-worker. The suspect and her friend get into his vehicle and depart the scene. After a brief pursuit, PIs track the duo to a nearby gin joint. The suspect and her unknown companion head inside for an after-work cocktail. Gumshoes armed with pinhole microcams capture the twosome getting cozy in a booth. While discussing the day's events, Gordon's wife leans in and gives her companion a little kiss. After finishing their drinks, the couple hop into the companion's car and return to their workplace, where they park and stay in the car. Detectives notice they may be doing more than just talking. Blame it on the alcohol, but the suspect and her companion kiss passionately in his vehicle before saying their goodbyes for the evening. Investigation Day 8. Investigators again set up outside of the suspect's place of business. Gordon's better half is soon spotted as she gets into her car and leaves for the day. Ops follow down a busy thoroughfare. The suspect arrives at the home she shares with Timothy and ducks inside. Later that evening, she re-emerges for a night on the town. A few miles away, she arrives at a seedy bar and strolls in. Agents soon catch the companion from prior surveillance, Chris Cliffs, as he arrives with his guitar. Once inside, the two become very comfortable. They hug and kiss like teenagers after the prom. With their engines revving, the couple retire to the parking lot for a makeout session in the companion's car. Apparently needing more room for their affection, the pair move their party to a nearby alley for some voyeuristic thrills. With the companion now satisfied by the suspect's exhibition, the couple part company for the night. The suspect heads home and Cliffs re-enters the bar, ending this day of investigation. Investigation Day 11. Detectives on duty watch the suspect and Cliffs once again exit work together. Cliffs opens the door for his lady love and the pair depart in his vehicle. A few miles away, they arrive at a parking garage and go all the way to the top. 
They park and look out at the city skyline. The lovebirds step out of the car and break out the makings for a rooftop picnic. They toast their love and then seal the deal with a passionate kiss. Once the vino hits them, the couple begin to get a little frisky. Detectives look on as Gordon's wife and her companion start to undress and then crawl into the back seat for some intimate action. The suspect lays it on thick for her loving hubby, Timothy, in this recorded phone call. With a mountain of evidence proving misconduct, Cheaters PIs head for headquarters. With a suspect's misdeeds shining through the fog of lies, Cheaters rushes to inform Timothy of her underground activities. Prepared for the impending results, Timothy needs a little courage to view the truth. Tim, thank you for responding and being with us this evening. Our detectives do have information that they feel it's imperative for you to see. Okay. Are you prepared to look at that now? Yeah. Tim, on this evening, our detective captured as she left her place of employment. She leaves with a gentleman. From there, they were followed to a bar. They go inside, sit down. They are sitting quite closely to one another. We see some interaction between the two of them that can best be described. Very familiar. After some time, they leave, get back in his car. They go back to her office. But before she exits the vehicle, we do see that they've taken advantage of the lovely evening and are spending some time in much more of an amorous interaction than we served. On this day, our detective was again outside of place of employment. It was later on in the evening. We see her and this gentleman leave. But on this night, they went directly to a, exactly Son of to, a bitch. A, to a parking structure. That's real classy. Oh, yeah. But this evening seemed to call for some type of celebration as they share a bottle of wine or champagne. What the f are they celebrating? That they're not in an alley anymore? And at this point, it seems they're moving to a <sighs> position that we comfortable. This is... I don't see any more that Joey. I don't expect that you really care to. Uh... Is there a bar around here? Because oh, uh, I'm almost out. Oh, maybe I got to get somewhere. Because this, this isn't going to be good at all. I cannot believe this. Do any of this. I hate that bitch. I hate her. I hope she damn dies. She dies. We know that and this gentleman are together once again, and they've gone to a restaurant. Let's go ahead and get in the van. I'll call the detective from there, and we'll find out what updates he can give us and figure out the best way to proceed. Yeah, we are. We're done. We're everyone's in the vans. So we're ready to go. What do you have on your end? They finished dinner, but they're still together. Okay. You're. Oh, they're okay. Where are they? They're there now. They went back to the parking structure. Okay. All right. We'll we'll head there right now. Right now. No, we're looking for a detective, right? All right. 
Yeah, I think this is a turn here. All right, everybody out. Stay close. Watch your step. Okay. What do you got? In the back corner. If you go up this way, you'll see it's going to come up this one over here. All right. You want to get through the pieces? Come on, Tim. something oh. huh what's wrong with you why don't you get my wife why don't you get hey what are you doing here come on man Tim. Hey. hey man i'll oh, you up guys, in your underwear guys. Guys. No, guys. no 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 If you weren't happy, why wouldn't you just, why wouldn't you just... It's or, hard to get away from. That. He's threatened me. He's threatened me numerous times. Don't leave me, bitch. I'll kill you, bitch. I but, but wouldn't that... Tell your parents. I don't care anymore. Well, I'm going to try standing in a phone book. You're going to try to hit me, mother... Oh, yeah, you're going to need that. Well... Chris is married. Oh, he's married, too? Yeah, he's got kids. You'll probably need both of them. I'm gonna box beers with him, huh? I love Chris. Tim and me have been over for a long time. How long did you think it would continue? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure a way out. Well, people, let's get out of here. Know, I need but... my boots. Come on, guys. Get, wait. get all this crap off your car. Where are you gonna take her, Chris? Go It'll be out in front of the house. It'll be that's burning. You ain't got nothing else to say? I don't. Maybe uh, see you uh, in court? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there too. Don't use those credit cards. They won't help you. They're going down tonight. No more credit. That's fine. No more of that. That's fine. I don't need yeah. your money because there's hardly any of it there's left. Always parking your wife's lot. Gonna say and then plenty up in Dallas. Slot. We're both in the same situation. That guy right there, he's done some serious business to her. Ew. We don't condone any abusive activity. Look, we However, gotta, we gotta go. this doesn't seem like the solution, does it? Especially if you've got a wife and kids. Oh, you got a wife and kids? I'm sending one of these to your wife. I'll make sure your kids get a copy too. Mark my words on that. I ain't no Give me a second, baby. Crazy mother might try to hit me with a car. This fight's like a bitch. I'm sorry, this happened. Okay. Let's go. You guys get down the way, please. I just got on a fist fight on TV. Throwing me over that whore. Sorry, bitch. First, I don't know where he is, and then he comes home very late. He doesn't want to communicate with me. He wants to go right to bed, and it's just a totally different behavior for Hank. Just talking to my nurse Sue, who was at home with me. 
I would chat with her and tell her how he was acting very distant and um, not giving any attention and always seemed preoccupied with work. And she told me that that was just normal, that was just his way of dealing with things. After all we'd been through, and especially him being by my side all this time and seeing me through this, and now I just have the suspicion that he is cheating on me. I just, it's just a feeling that I think women get when they know their spouses are cheating. And I can just feel it. I know he is. Hank Maddox, likeness withheld. A real estate broker accused of perusing other properties while his wife struggles to survive. Investigation day five. Field operatives hot on the tail of suspect Maddox track him down to the waterfront. Detectives follow the suspect as he pulls in and parks his car at the pier. Agents watch suspect Hank Maddox, whose likeness is withheld, exit his vehicle. After a brief pursuit on foot, Cheater's Gumshoes find the suspect enjoying a late lunch at an open-air bistro. Detectives spot suspect Maddox dining with an unknown female. Agents note the two seem to be quite familiar with each other. After they eat, the couple cuddles up on a bench to let their food settle. To further aid with digestion, suspect Maddox and his companion stroll down the pier. The suspect and his companion take in scenic views and peruse some local shops. Upon the purchase of a few knickknacks, the twosome hug all the way back to the parking lot, prompting inspectors to further question the nature of their relationship. Investigation Day 8. Agents follow the suspect all morning and catch up with him at a local park. Catching a lucky break at dinner time, Cheater's PIs observe suspect Maddox meet his companion for a picnic. Maddox's companion, now identified as Sue Parsons, turns out to be his wife Betty's nurse and confidant. And now she shares a picnic with her patient's husband. With confirmation that these two have a long-standing relationship, Cheater's agents watch carefully to verify the nature of their liaison. Savoring the precious moment together, suspect Maddox and his companion share some wine. And then they decide to sip each other. Amid a tender moment, the suspect feels a phone call. Intelligence informs field operatives that the suspect's phone call is from his wife, Betty. Upon returning to his companion, Maddox says his goodbyes in a hurry and departs the scene. After a quick cleanup, the apparently upset companion storms off in a huff. Investigation Day 17. Getting an inside tip from Betty, detectives stake out the marina where suspect Maddox stores and docks his boat. Cheater's P.I.'s watch as suspect Maddox loads up his boat for a sailing excursion. Agent spot companion Parsons as she approaches the yacht. Suspect Maddox helps his companion aboard, and after they hug, they disappear below deck for quite some time. The suspect demonstrates his gross lack of morals in this recorded phone call with his wife, Betty. Hello? Hey, honey, when are you gonna be home? I don't know, I'm trying to finish up this contract. Yeah, I got a nice dinner already. I was hoping for once you could get home on time. I, I really can't tonight. I, I, I've got to finish this contract, and I promised Ralph that I would get together with him to get the signatures. But honey, this is the third time this week. What can I say? I, I've got to do what I've got to do, you know. Well, I know. I understand that. Yeah, I'd rather be with you than be here. Okay. Maybe. I love you. Okay, I love you too, honey. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. With confirmation of her husband's improprieties, Cheaters prepares a report for a disillusioned Betty. With this disgraceful betrayal caught on tape, Cheaters has the unfortunate task of disclosing the findings to Betty. Battling the scourge of doubt, Betty prepares for a dose of truth. Betty, thanks for meeting us out here this afternoon. I know the last few months have been a very trying period for you. Yeah. I'm not gonna take any more of your time because I know that you've come for a specific reason. I want you to know that this has the potential to be upsetting to you. I'm willing to face it. I have to face it. I have to know what's going on. As our investigation started, Betty, on this particular afternoon, he was followed to a restaurant once there, he meets this young lady, and they sit down, 
to have lunch. Do you recognize this woman? That is Sue. And that's that's Sue my was private your, nurse. Was your nurse. That's her. That's her. At some time, they left the restaurant, and here you can see them share a kiss. On this day, our detective followed Hank. We were able to see him taking some items out of the van. He looks like he's preparing for a trip, and this is yes. not out of the ordinary. No. Sick? Okay. No. I'm going to continue for a moment, Betty, because what appears to be an innocent activity that would not cause alarm soon changes as your nurse <gasps> arrives. She has a few things, and they yes. set sail. It's too difficult for me. <laughs> Okay, take a second okay. if you need to. Okay, we'll take a second. I just can't. I can't imagine. All right, I know, I, can't I know this is all that's different. happening after all that we've been through together. Why now? Why now when things are going so good? I know you've been through why enough. would he go and why would he pick now? We have a detective that's very close by and has a has a close watch on him. I just want to call him very quickly to make sure that nothing has changed. Yeah, they still there? All right, he's washing the boat down. They're both still there. Okay, she's below deck right now. She was helping him. All right, good, okay, we're on our way right now. After 35 years of marriage, being together through thick and thin, and it has been really some rough times, why now when things are so much better? I thought when the doctor said you have cancer was the worst day, but this is the worst day of my life. All right, excuse me for one second. I know you know where that is. We're getting close. Look out for the detective. He's going to be right up here. Right there. Yeah. there he is. There he is right there. Give me a hand. Hang on to that rail. Okay? What's going on? I don't know. What is it? Cake! Do you have any explanation? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Sue? We haven't done a thing wrong. What are you doing here oh, with all these just cameras just and everything? How, how, how can you embarrass yourself Ill. and me like this? I'm not embarrassing you. Not me. How can you do that? I'm your wife. <laughs> hey, now. Get out of here. Get, get out of here, Sue. Get out of here. After 35 years? Get, just go. Just go. Coming up. Stop following me. Take your cameras and get out of here. You can't do this. Get the here, all right? I'm not going anywhere. I'm You, stay on your hey, damn yeah, boat. Well, uh, get out of here. <laughs> Sue, can you, can you give me a second? It wasn't supposed to be like this. What did you think was going to happen? How was it supposed to be? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm in love with him. He's in love with me. He's done everything he possibly could for her. It's over now. Okay. We thought she How was did going that to die. We thought she was going to die. Let me find her. <laughs> Tell her. It's going to be him and I. He's not going to be with her. But, Sue, it's been eight months. Oh, there she is. I've been with this, with him for so long, and I'm not giving it up. Well, I think, oh, easy, easy. Listen. Watch out, watch out. Hey, guys. I don't know who you think you are. Betty. You can't just destroy 35 years. You need to get out of my car. You can't do it. You need to get out. No. It's over. Get out. No. Betty, well, you get easy, out. ladies, ladies. Get no. It's private property. It's private property. Get off of here. Will you at least we take, are friends. Will you at least take a moment police, or two? Please. Will you at least take you a moment to, to talk with she her? She needs to get out of here. It's over. It's done. No. Do you have any remorse? I said get out of here now. Damn it. All right, you want to go at it? You Please shut plans, my door. Betty. Shut my door. No. Betty, shut we my have door. to. You cannot destroy my marriage. Shut my door. No. Now. How did you think no. this was going to end? Watch out, here, watch out. Away from watch my out. car. Watch out, now. watch out, Betty. Betty, now. easy, easy. No. Hey, hey, hey. She no. needs to move okay. away no. from my car. No. I want to leave. Okay. Right. Now. Right. You got to talk to me. Come on. So, be careful. Be careful. So, it's all right, ladies. Oh. Come on. No, 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 no. Watch out behind. Guys, watch out behind. What? No, no, no. Oh. Damn it, I'll throw you in the water. Get out of here. Get the f out of here. Get out of here. On, you bitch go get out of my life get out of Hank's life get out of here go <laughs>
Yes. Let's go. He can sleep on his damn boat. I get the house. He can sleep on his boat. Oh, I just, oh, I just want to go home. That's all. Okay. All right. I just want to go. Give me a hand. Let's go. Okay. My eyes. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Right here. Watch out. Right. We're going to the left. Yes. Right here. Oh, dude, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, God. I just can't believe this. Sue has been by my side through all my health. And Hank, they brought me back to good health to where I am today. Through all these years, my mind is... It's going 100 miles an hour. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. I, I just want to go home. I want to call my children and, and tell them what I've discovered. Okay. When you have helped me uncover that I, my, my suspicions were right. I'm at the restaurant eating. Joey and the crew bum rush me. And I'm thinking, I'm looking around actually, thinking to myself, hey, where are these cameras and stuff going? You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, they coming to me. I'm like, hold up. What's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm thinking, I may be in some trouble. Does this look familiar to you? I don't even know what that is. What are you talking about? Who are you? You don't need to be asking me. Who in the hell are you? you? Who are you? You Who are you? Did you know that I was with you for three years? Did you know that? I don't know know anything about you. You need to find out tonight. You need to find out tonight. Joey, I ain't gonna say he's one of the most hated people in my life or nothing, man. He, the man is nosy. This is a guy that wants to help everyone, but he's always in someone's confrontation. What kind of, what does that do? What is that all about? I don't know. I mean, Joey is just, I don't know. How can you go home knowing yourself that you've broken up all these relationships, you've put them on the brink of maybe disaster, and you have no idea what some people are thinking at sometimes. So, I mean, how could you go home thinking, hey, I broke them up, that's tight. It's not good at all, dude. You're like the devil. You're like just handing out apples everywhere. We got a runner. Bud, slow down. What, to a podcast? You can't talk now? All right, stay close. But let me say, can I save you some trouble? Man, you done done enough, dude. What are you okay. talking about? No, I, I didn't do this. Come on, man. Let's, let's, you let's be accountable. I'm okay. accountable let's... for everything I do. Okay, well then, that, why are you trying to make it my fault? I'm not making it joke. Is... You're the one that came with the cameras. I don't have no cameras. Hey, me and is still friends. That's what we are, friends. That's what we was before. We never should have let it go any further than that. But we found out mistaken through, you know what I'm saying? Like I said again. Hey, maybe that was what God, maybe that was what I needed. You know, God showed me or brought to me that, hey, this is what it was, or this is what it should have been, or this is how it should be now. Like I said, all I can do now is just keep going forward. So you finally decided to bring your ass out? What? Same reason I came back, tell her the truth. So what is it? Listen to me. That's the problem I've been having with you. You don't want to listen. The times that I've called you, and you said, oh, baby, I'm tired. Oh, you know, I've been in school. Oh, you know, I'm stressing out with my family. This, is this it right here? Is this the real reason why you Man, really want? Worry. He's going to be all yours after Hold on. I mean, don't This is what I'm trying to tell you. Calm down. No, no, no. No, I'm not done. No. I'm not done. This because is what I'm trying I've to tell you. you. I've given you. You I'm ain't so giving me nothing. Pay, I've been sitting up here trying to talk to you since you started talking. How? up and let me say something? There's not actually anything I like to say about Cat to Cat or anything like that. I mean, it's not about Cat anymore. It's all about Bud now. Yeah. It's all about that B-U-D, you did. So I can't do nothing but be me now. I've always been me, so you know, hey, ladies, young brother out there having fun, enjoying himself, and if this is something that you would like to get into, I'll let me.
Mark the location. Mark the location. Mark the location. <laughs> 